We can see in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the truth plus love equals life. I'm going to say this once and for all. Whether you hear or not hear, it's ultimately none of my business. According to every Bible ever printed, all churchgoers are worshiping Satan. One more time, real clear. Jesus said, God can't live in temples made of human hands. Those steeples, by the way, are satanic penis phalluses, antennas for satanic worldly global energy, like little pyramids of the devil. When you enter into those doors, you are spiritually being aborted, murdered, entering into the womb of Eve, the whore of Babylon. This is not up for debate. This is literally the first thing Jesus taught for 2,000 years. You have to be the church. And we are in church right now. Jesus said, wherever two or more are gathered, they're in, in my name, they're in the midst of mine. And his new name is truth plus love equals life. Nature, character, and authority. It is not possible for you to know Jesus and step foot in one of those buildings. Now, I was raised in this. I'm not suggesting that you can't come out of it. But it's been probably 25 years since I've walked into one of those places because I'm an adult and I don't have to be a little kid you know, getting bossed down by parents. It doesn't matter how, much, how good it feels. It doesn't matter how much you would hear the words of Jesus there. It doesn't matter whether you cared about the, the, sitting in the pew or the parking lot. It doesn't matter that your wife wanted to go or your husband dragged you there. I would go walk into one of those places if I knew there was little kids burning in a building and I heard them screaming. Other than that, I can't wait until Jesus burns every one of them to the ground, not one stone left shall be standing upon another. God will deal that. Deal with that. He will take care of that. It is 100.0% satanic. It is not possible. For you to go to a church, we are to be mobile tabernacles in whom Jesus resides. That's difficult for all of us. I still swear, I know I'll still lust after a pretty girl walks down the street. I understand that. I mean, Paul and Elijah said we're men of like passions, confess your sins to one another. I get it. I am not always Christian. But it's not possible to be Christian looking outside of yourself. That doesn't make us the answer, but the answer has to be within. They used to have a song called The Road to Zion's in Your Heart. <coughs> and it's a trail of tears. It's very difficult, but I just want to be part of the group. Oh, so you're the only one. And it doesn't like to be alone or isolated. It's a cross, folks. Siamese twins die on different crosses. Because it's spiritual. You are, by definition, a Satan worshiper, according to Jesus. There's one God, and everybody other claiming to be God is the devil. If you're going to a church, if you think it's possible to go to a church, you're worshiping the devil. It doesn't matter what you say, what you confess. You can say Jesus is Lord all day long. You go to a church, I know you're lying. You, never, you didn't hear the first words he taught. This is literally something you could teach a baby, a three-year-old. That's not me talking down to you. That's me exposing you and convicting you. My God, we're all insane for ever even calling that a church of anything other than Satan. Whatever it is, whatever it looks like. I don't care if it's made of crystal. I don't care if it's this little launch pad for devil at this church of the satanic resurrection, the core whore in Leewood, Kansas. Total abomination. God's going to destroy you. I'm not going to harm you. I don't have to. You are bound in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Truth plus love equals life. And Adam Hamilton, you sick Satan worshiping devil, I dare you to sue me. God will strike you dead with a lightning bolt. Filthy murderers, all of you. I dare you. Hear the word of the Lord. We are in church right now. The Holy Spirit flows between me and you. If I died 20 years from now, or, 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 or 20 years ago, and you're hearing this, the Holy Spirit still flows. He's still outside the time domain. Well, I'll mock me and ostracize me. Well, do you want the world? Or do you want God? There is no competition, I promise. If any man loves the world, the love of the, Father is, the love of the Father is not in him. We all have flesh world. We all want. Hey, I'd love for you to give me a hundred quintillion times the prayer of a World Series champion. 
for bringing you the greatest discoveries of all time. I don't expect you to do anything other than spit in my face like you did with Jesus. This is the world, and I have to remind myself every day. Folks, life is an away game if you're a Christian. You play to win by overcoming yourself by the blood of the Lamb, the strength of your testimony. Don't expect them to cheer. I will confess to you, I still get disappointed. People not cheering me, filling me up with energy and loving and hugging and joining and finding and loving and joining and fun. It's ultimately a fool's errand. They can't love you specifically if you love Jesus. They can't see you. The lie cannot see the truth. Because the truth is that a lie doesn't exist. For the lie to acknowledge the truth, it has to admit it's not only going to kill itself, it was never alive in the first place. By definition, those of the lie can't see that of the truth. They're insane. It's like trying to speak French to somebody who doesn't speak French. Talking to a drunk person. Let's talk about calculus. They can even they can slur their speech. They're falling over. It's very difficult, I know. All religion is of the devil. Religion is not dead, my friends. It was never alive in the first place. Cry for the abominations. Take solace inwardly with Jesus till the indignation be overpassed. Hear the word of the Lord. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, truth plus love equals life.